Diablo. I'm excited. I was really stoked when I read that there actually is a workaround that lets you play uh, Nightmare and Hell difficulty on single player. I'm going to give folks a few minutes to get in here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. How's everybody doing? I hope we're all doing well. I don't even know who's actually planning to show up. I should probably look into that. I'm wondering, Crotty are here already. I see. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you both. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day to you as well. I have a beer to start out with. I have plenty of booze in the fridge. I'm not certain in how drunk I'll actually get today because we're uh, my brother's in town from Kansas City and we're going over there for dinner. And I'm actually pretty excited for that. But uh, yeah, this should be fun. What are you fellas doing for St. Patrick's? Anything fun? Just watching Twitch, drinking beer, I hope. I'll give folks until 11.49. I'll wait until 5 till. That seems wise. Hey, Steven. Good to see you, my friend. Vacation. Rocking it. How's that going? Enjoying yourself, I hope. Here, let's go ahead and tab into the game so we get our music going. Finamora, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the resub, my friend. It's always wonderful to have you in the streams. I appreciate you being here. Welcome, 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 and happy St. Patrick's Day. Change my mind. I don't want the game music on until I'm actually playing. <laughs> Silly of me, I know, but uh, yeah, it's good. The uh, so Friday night was really the highlight of my year. Um, so it's, it's funny actually because I complained about having to work the day after I go drinking. I actually had to work Saturday. I had to go to the office and run the doc review team and everything. And that was annoying, but Friday night is what tends to actually be the highlight of my year. It's the uh, Irish drinking song sing-along night at my usual karaoke bar. And we tried a new song this go-round, me and a couple of my buddies. And it was like, re it's actually really, really hard to sing. I'm toying with the idea of actually doing it on the stream sometime, if that's something you guys would be interested in. But the... Uh, Man, we brought the house down. The whole bar was clapping and stomping their feet and drinking whiskey and beer. It was amazing. It was such a good time. Uh, for today, I, like I said, I figured out a workaround that is apparently actually pretty well known that allows you to play in Nightmare and Hell difficulties on Diablo 1 single player, which is awesome because I'd like to actually get you know, level 50 characters in all three classes who have completed the game on Hell, and we can actually do that without having to go to multiplayer, which is good, because uh, the, di the key differences in multiplayer are really twofold. Uh, the monsters are stronger, they have twice as much health, and uh, literally double the health on all the monsters. And uh, the other thing is that there is a cap on the amount of experience points you can get per kill in multiplayer. You cannot get more than 50,000 experience points for a single kill, no matter what you're killing, no matter what difficulty you're on. A single player doesn't have that cap, so you can get to level 50 in a much more reasonable time frame, which is nice. Um, the workaround itself is actually pretty basic. All you have to do is, uh, it, it defaults to normal, but 
what the game does when it creates a single player game is it actually reads the last difficulty level that was used and just starts the game on that difficulty. So if you make a multiplayer character who can who is high enough level to start a game on either nightmare or hell difficulty, you can create a game in nightmare, then close out of it without exiting Diablo, that's important. Uh, fire up a single player game and you will be in nightmare difficulty on single player, which is pretty great. So that's what I did here. And the other thing to kind of fill everyone in on is that I did clear the first three levels before I realized, oh, I should probably stream this. I think people will be interested. Um, and in the first three levels of the dungeon, we've raised some spell levels, nothing too fancy. Um, we have not yet leveled up. We're still level 25, where we left off at the end of normal. Uh, our first quest is the Curse of King Leoric, so we don't have any new quests. And I did find, I did just find my first new piece of gear. I'll show it to you. Um, I got just a basic white plate mail, but the armor class is 47. And at this point, raising the armor class by that much beats out Arcane's Valor and the little vitality boost it gives us. So you can see with Arcane's Valor, my armor class was 90. With even a basic plate mail, my armor class goes up to 112. So we'll be using the plate mail. So that pretty much catches you up. Um, you can see we're still the same level we left off at at the end of normal. And we're actually ready to jump into King Leoric's tomb. Other than that, we have all the same gear. We've got the Veil of Steel, the Amulet of the Zodiac, the Shield of the Tiger, the Amber Flail of Speed, the Ring of the Moon, and the Silver Ring. Let's jump in. Oh, the warmth of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> what announcement, Steven? Oh, that I was going live. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, only if you want to drink. It is St. Patrick's Day. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. All right. Time to go offload on uh, Twitch Mobile. So you can see I've got a lot of gold sitting on the ground. The, uh... We can't buy elixirs until we get back to hell, so... Griswold doesn't have anything I want to buy at the moment. Oh yeah, here are all the reading glasses. Those haven't changed. For when we what do find... What you, my friend? As you can see, Pepin is not selling elixirs. Because right now we're only in the dungeon. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? We will sell Arcane's Valor. The Robe of the Mind we're actually going to keep. Reading glasses, again. We're going to get that higher level magic. Right now I'm selling off everything that isn't a uh, potion of full healing. Although my magic stat and my healing spell, I should say also on level 2 of the dungeon, again, I'm sorry, I should have it should have occurred to me to stream the entire thing before I started. On level two of the dungeon, I did find an enchanted I sense shrine. I a soul in search of answers. If you don't know what the enchanted shrine is, it, uh, it's actually really cool. It uh, randomly subtracts a level from one spell and raises the levels of all of the others by one. So that's how my warrior with his shitty magic Still has a level has like a level two guardian spell and a level two stone curse spell because I found that in. I sense tribe. a soul in search of answers. So for now, we're just saving up. We're back in single player, so we can save and everything, which is great.
Oh, you have to drive tonight. Oh, that sucks. The count, 1,050 bits. My goodness, my friend, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It is great to have you in the stream. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right. We'll keep our scrolls and we'll jump back in because I'm sure we're going to find plenty the of gear to of identify life is to uh, in to Leorx too. Prepare yourself, mortal, to serve my master for eternity. <laughs> Dexterity. That's nice, but it's already maxed. It's all good, though. Approaching fridge right now. Add a boy, Steven. I like it. Great hell. Definitely not gonna outclass the Veil of Steel on its own. Not even close. Book of Firebolt. Falchion. Identify it. Bronze Falchion. Nope. Certainly not going to replace our Amber Flail of Speed. Uh, they actually did plan some work. The the review team is in today, too. It's just that me and uh, the other people who cover supervising, thankfully, were uh, decided to take turns covering the weekend shift. So I covered yesterday and got today off. So, so far, like in these, in these early levels, the enemies are definitely stronger. Like, you can see how much more gold they're dropping. And how we're gaining experience from them, like, on pace with where we were. But these are still much easier than what we were fighting in hell, even on normal, honestly. That'll change rapidly around, I want to say, the catacomb. We'll get there when we get there. Here, buddy. Rest well, Leoric. I'll find your carry so. anymore. We whooped his ass, didn't we? Hey, Nyron. Good to see you, man. All right. We can identify the undead crown. It's exactly the same as it was in our first run, so we're clearly not going to sub out for the Veil of Steel. We'll go offload. Drinking Pibwasser today. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds good. What ails you, my friend? I keep thinking maybe he'll sell elixirs. I don't know why. Hello, no, my friend. He won't. Stay a while and listen. Of course he won't. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, hey, Mohawk. It's... Um, I probably honestly like uh, the rogue of the best. Just because... She's fun because if you get her dexterity to 225, you can beat, you can basically beat the game on hell difficulty with the short bow you start out with. But the, uh, I mean, I love them all. I think that, uh, I'm doing the warrior first, not because he's my least favorite, but probably because I think he's actually the most difficult to get through the lower levels of the dungeons on, especially on Nightmare and Hell difficulties. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yeah, no elixirs for her either. And that's 
that's fine. Yeah, my favorite Faroga. You get that sky-high dexterity, and you can just absolutely tear through everything, no matter what bow you're using. All right, back to it. There we go. The tube itself is almost clear. They're dropping much better gear than they did before, too. So you can tell we're on Nightmare, even though it looks easy. some of this stuff. Look at Holy Bolt. I'm going to learn that before making yet another town run. Mm -hmm. That's true, Mohawk. You know, I never even noticed that until you brought it up just now. I actually, I read a really good analogy about these three games that, uh, I thought, I thought was you, my friend? really, because I am in the, I am in the small camp Hello, that, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Even though it's probably less replayable. Well, what can I do for you? And has fewer features, I kind of like the tighter focus. I like Diablo 1 better than Diablo 2. Diablo 2 has a lot more going on and... Like, if I'm honest, it even has a lot more replay value. But the, uh, the analogy I read that I thought was pretty appropriate is that, uh, um, Diablo 1 is like Alien. It's practically a horror game. Diablo 2 is like Aliens. It's much bigger and more bombastic, and it's more I of an action I sense a soul game. in search of answers. Which rings true to me, because, um... As good as Diablo 2 was, as fun as it always was to play, it doesn't have that horror atmosphere the way this one does. And of course, Diablo 3 got even farther away from that. Oh, 1, 2, 3. Pardon, for sure. 1, 2, 3 is my personal ranking. And I'm not on the Diablo 3 hate train. I think Diablo 3 is great. I played the shit out of that game and loved it, as I did with Diablo 2. I just, I happen to enjoy one the most. Layer is clear. Let's move on to level four. Man, using a flail on him really fucked him up. That was awesome. And we'll hit level 26 soon, and then we'll check Griswold again. everything. It's like the architecture, the sound design, the music. It's all oriented around horror. 
Diablo 2, like, I, th I think the stated purpose of Diablo 2 was to expand the scope of the game, and it certainly did that, and I think it did it really, really well, but there's part of me that just appreciates how the incredibly tight focus of Diablo 1. A note on these yellow things. Um, we didn't run into them in the normal playthrough. Uh, these are the strongest iteration of the zombie. They're called a Black Death. And if you're on single player, you can save scum. If you're on multiplayer and you run into them, you should just exit the game and create a new one. The reason is that every single time a Black Death connects a hit on you, your maximum health is permanently reduced by one in addition to the damage the attack does. So they can permanently fuck up your character, so you have to be really, really careful not to get hit when you run into them. But because we're on single player and we can save scum, we'll be alright. Just need to make sure the motherfucker never gets to hit us. Then you look at your health, and you're like, what the fuck happened? He doesn't want to take that last step. That's smart of him, but... Let's so get rid of all his minions. Fuck you, buddy. All right, Claymore. I'm out of Identify Scrolls. I have to wait and go visit Kane. Spare scroll of town portal, sure, why not? Alright, here's a pack of Black Death. Can't get hit. And we didn't. Alright.
got Ogden sign again. Open this yet. Okay. We still need the sign quest. Before we can actually open the thing, which is kind of silly, but whatever. We get it from Snotsville. We don't actually have to go back to town. <laughs> Generally speaking, I would not recommend two-handed weapons for a Diablo 1 warrior. The loss... Uh, the, uh, they do a little bit more base damage, but you lose the chance to have a whole second item's worth of modifiers in your shield hand. It's almost impossible to make that worth it, so I would... Never recommend it in Diablo 1. Alright, Black Death. Can't get hit. Bunch of them. Good. I gotta pawn some of this Didn't stuff. Didn't get hit. Alright, a full hell. Kill the last one first. We'll make a town run. Yeah, Martin, I saw those pictures. So, uh, for those of you who aren't in the Discord, well, you tell them the story, Martin. You know the details better than I do. Yeah, stay a while and listen to Martin's tale of what he found in his house. <laughs> the curse of our master. Ow. Oh. Hey, Duxenstein. Didn't know you would join us. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Good to have stay you Stay a while and listen. Claymore, Sword of the Leech. Nope. Stay for a moment. Ooh, okay, we did not get this quest last time. The Magic Rock. Stay for a moment. I have a story you might find interesting. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. The Empyrean Band, that might actually be more useful than something we're using right now. Let's see. Whoa, what can I do for you? None of that. We still haven't leveled up, although we're getting close. Whoa! Well, what can I do for I'll you? I'll show you his gear right now. The Obsidian Ring of Harmony is kind of tempting, but I'd rather save my gold for something that hits everything. Moose Rush! Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? Uh, happy St. Patty's, everyone. It's good to have you all here. Wow, I have a hell of a crew. 20 viewers. I almost never hit that.
I do. I wish sense a soul in search of that answers. This game had the run feature. That one I missed. All right. We're set. Back down. Oh, except I need to talk to the townsfolk about the magic rock. New quest, new dialogues. I sense a Almost soul in it. search of answers. The magic rock. The heaven stone is very powerful, and were it any but Griswold who bid you find it, I would prevent it. He will harness its powers, and its use will be for the good of us all. Uh, hey, Morellis. Yes, Diablo 2 did use the same engine as Diablo 1. That is a true statement. I think, you know, I should check what Wirt has. We're a high enough level now, it might be something good. Kind of fellow drinking. I used to have a nice ring. It was a really expensive one. With blue and green and red and silver. Don't remember what happened to it, though. I really miss that ring. The Tristram Bank. Right, I know. It's so stupid. What ails you, my friend? It's so dumb that gold, you, you, that, that, that gold has a cap on the stack size. That's really, really dumb. I don't know what it is they thought they could see with that rock, but I will say this. If rocks are falling from the sky, you would better be careful. Thanks, Pepin. That was helpful. Hello, my friend. Griswold speaks of the Heaven Stone that was destined for the Enclave located in the east. It was being taken there for further study. This stone glowed with an energy that somehow granted vision beyond that which a normal man could possess. I do not know what secrets it holds, my friend, but finding this stone would certainly prove most valuable. I don't know, Martin. Somebody Google that. Because I was surprised because those games are 15 years apart, but we already found some overlap in the voice actors on the first episode, so... Greetings, good master. Welcome. The caravan stopped here to take on some supplies for their journey to the east. I sold them quite an array of fresh fruits and some excellent sweetbreads that Garda had just finished baking. Shame what happened to them. Useless Jillian is going to continue Good day. to use with. How may I swill a caravan of some very important people did stop here, but that was quite a while ago. They had strange accents and were starting on a long journey, as I recall. I don't see how you could hope to find anything that they would have been carrying. Don't ever change, Jillian. Perfectly useless. Duxenstein! A new subscription! Thank you so much, my friend. I really, really appreciate that. That's wonderful. Well, in keeping with the theme, what can I do for ya? Alright. Psst! Over here! Wirt has a diamond plate. That's actually... Uh, useful, but it's not worth what he's charging. Psst! Over here! Magic rock. If anyone can make something out of that rock, Griswold can. He knows what he is doing. And as much as I try to steal his customers, I respect the quality of his work. All right. So Wirt has a diamond plate, but my resists are already close to max with the Veil of Steel. I'm not gonna spend 60,000 gold to lose five armor class and max out my magic resist. I'd rather save it for something better. I'll show you what Griswold has on this run right now, and bear in mind that Wirt's one item will change every time we gain a level, because that's finally about to happen again. And um, Griswold will sub in one new item every time we gain Whoa, a level as what can well. I do for you? So he's got a Ring of Wizardry, a Gold Large Axe, an Axe of Precision. The one tempting thing is the Obsidian Ring of Harmony, but... Again, my resists are good enough right now. I don't want to sub out needlessly. A plate of the wolf, which is that. Actually, I should 
I should seriously consider buying that. Except it's missing the prefix, so I'd rather, I don't know, I'd rather keep holding out for my actual endgame here. Holy shit, 23 viewers! <laughs> this is amazing. Hi, everybody. Uh, uh Warellis, we're on Nightmare. I, I, I figured out how to play, uh, Nightmare in Hell on single player. That's why we're back on Diablo 1. So this is the same, this is the same character we did our normal run with, and now we're, now we're playing on Nightmare. I explained the workaround at the beginning of the video, but I'm, uh, I'm happy to re-explain it for all the new people. 28! My god! Are we gonna hit 30 again? 30 is my all-time cap. Shit, Black Death. Gotta be careful. Can't get hit. I have not found a King's Sword of Haste yet. If I had, I would be using it. <laughs> Another Black Death. Fuck. So the workaround, which is actually apparently pretty commonly known, is that the... The game, um, it doesn't, it, it, it defaults to normal, but the way it, the way the coding actually creates a single player game is it takes the difficulty of the last game that you played. So if you get a multiplayer character to a high enough level to uh, create Nightmare and Hell games, you can load up the game, go into multiplayer and create a game on Nightmare or Hell, back out of it and start a single player game, and then the single player game will be on Nightmare or Hell difficulty. You have to do that every time you fire up the game, but frankly it's kind of a small price to pay to be able to play the higher difficulties in single player. Yes, we are playing on Nightmare and holy shit I've hit 30 viewers. Amazing. All right, a magical shrine. What does that one do? Cast mana shield. Oh sure, why not? Not doing anything else with my mana. This one, a fascinating shrine. What does that do? Okay, fascinating shrines are to be avoided. They raise your fireball skill level by two at the cost of 10% of your maximum mana. Absolutely not worth it ever, no matter what class you're playing. So do not hit a fascinating shrine. Uh, yes, hell is the highest difficulty. So basically if you're if you're doing if you're doing what I basically try to do and single passing the entire game you do one run on each difficulty. Just take whatever you find that Slash are able to buy. A fountain of tears is an interesting one. It lowers an attribute by one and raises another by one. I'm not gonna hit it, because I don't want to lose an attribute point, especially out of dexterity or magic, since they're maxed. But that is what those do, just in case you were curious. Alright. Clear this area now. People love Diablo 1, I guess. This is the most popular stream I've done in months. Black Death. Focus up. Uh, Martin, the Golden Ball is a mana shield. So, if anything hits me, it's going to subtract from my mana instead of my health until I run out of mana. Mana shield's not that great when you're a warrior, but mana shield is what makes a high-level sorcerer essentially invincible. If you're playing a sorcerer, once he learns mana shield, it's game over <laughs> for all of your enemies. <laughs> Black 
like that for Dave. Gotta be careful. Can't get hit. Didn't get hit. That's what matters. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. All right, back to town. Diablo and Og didn't have the same voice actor? Now that is crazy, I did not know that. Uh, just basic items. All right, we are, we're getting shockingly close to a level up. We can check for good gear again once we do. I don't have anything to identify either. Whoa! What can I do for you? Griswold and Adria, because I don't really need to keep any of this stuff either. Oh, might as well save a yeah, might as well save a little gold and hold on to the full heal. Once I start needing to use potions of healing again. Excuse me. Thirty-four viewers. That's a new. That's a new peak. Oh, I that's the best I've ever had. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. Happy St. Patty's to me. <laughs> I think this calls for another beer. Oh, see, my, my, my count is delayed. That's amazing, though. Well, hello, everyone. I'm, I'm certain that with this many, I have to have some new people. Like, by definition, so... Welcome! What I typically do is I... I drink irresponsible amounts of alcohol, so I tend to be drunk by the end of my streams. You're catching me near the beginning, so it's not happening right now. And I just try to do uh, very detailed and knowledgeable and full completion playthroughs of RPGs like Diablo. I know this game intimately. I know virtually everything there is to know about it. That's one example. The other thing that you'll see on this channel, which is completely different but almost equally fun, is I do mostly blind playthroughs of horror games. As everybody likes to watch somebody get scared. The blind playthrough of the Resident Evil 2 remake was particularly fun. Another fascinating shrine. Two of these fucking things. And, unfortunately, the way that pixeled out, we can't pick up whatever that staff is without clicking on the Fascinating Shrine. I promise you, even that staff is not worth the permanent loss of 10% of our maximum mana, so I'm not going to do it. Even though fuck off work, I am, I am completely ignoring you today. More Black Death. That was close, but we did not get hit. Still did not get hit. Still did not get hit. Still did not get hit. And that is what matters. Has being drunk ever affected gameplay in a negative way? Not usually, because I don't generally do it on the blind ones. I, uh... And uh, when I'm playing a game, I know front to back the way I usually mean that statement when I make it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I, if, if anything, I enjoy myself more. I suppose there's a possibility that it affects the quality of the commentary. A strong possibility now that I think about it. <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I should taper off the levels of drinking I engage in.
I mean, it's a percentage, so I don't think you could ever actually get yourself down to zero mana or anything ridiculous like that, but it's just not worth it. Two Firebolt skill levels is not worth it, because you can max out Firebolt with Spellbook without having to uh, sacrifice 10% of your mana. It's a silly thing to do. Alrighty. Black Death for days. Focus up and be careful. Don't get hit. Martin, that's... I, I, I mean, I understand. Oh, Garbat the Weak! That's a new quest. Let's make sure his room is clear. We're gonna need to make a run to town and see if they have anything to say about him. Let's hit the book first. The Great Conflict. Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. There is a war that rages on even now, beyond the fields that we know, between the utopian kingdoms of the high heavens and the chaotic pits of the burning hells. This war is known as the Great Conflict, and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. All right, let's hit Garbad. Please, no hurt, no kill. Keep alive, and next time, good bring to you. Uh, Martin, I'm drinking Honey Orange Triple, which I think is actually what I was drinking during the first Diablo playthrough, beer-wise. All right. I'm not full on inventory space yet, but I want to see if the town folk have dialogue for Garbad or not. Please! No hurt! No kill! Whoa! What can I do for you? That's a quick check and no, the town folk do not have dialogue for Garbad. Well, that's easy then. Get shit identified. Hello, my friend! Stay a while and listen! I don't disagree. Well, I get. I, I, I guess I would. I, I wouldn't do it because you're probably right that like it makes sense, ba basically for a low-level sorcerer. But the uh, game audio seems loud. There. The. Uh, I sense a soul in search of answers. The extra firebolt skill levels can help, but the. Uh, Generally speaking, I subscribe to the notion that every little bit counts, especially when it comes to something like your health or mana pool. And like, the only person who's gonna be using Firebolt at low levels is a sorcerer. And even a low level sorcerer, 10% of his mana pool is a pretty big hit. So I think now, the more, the more I think about it, the more I would say yes, I do disagree with that. I don't think it makes sense even if you're low level. It doesn't really matter, I guess, for a low level warrior rogue, but I think it actually is a significant hit even to a low-level sorcerer to lose 10% of your mana pool. Let's deal with Garbad. Something for you I am making. Again, not kill Garbad. Live and give good. You'll take this as proof I keep word. So he gave us, ooh, a gothic shield. Something for you, I am Meg. Okay. All we have to do is get out of sight and go back to him to iterate through that. Nothing yet. Almost done. Very powerful. Very strong. Live, live. No pain. And promise I keep. Garbad the weak. 
this too good for you. Very powerful. You want, you take. Morning star. Impressed. All right. And that's the Garbot the Week quest. This gothic shield. I, I, I don't think the suffixes are going to be an upgrade. Or the modifiers, I mean. I doubt it's going to be as good as the shield of the tiger, but I think it's possible. He should have just given me the item like he promised. Dumb fucker attacked me instead. His own damn fault. More Black Death! getting hit. That's what we want. <laughs> Just burying all my money in the ground of Tristram. What you have to do, man. <laughs> There's no stash in this game, and gold can only stack to a limit of 5,000, which is fucking dumb, but there you go. Club. Oh, we're very close now. Bet we hit level 26 on level 4. That'll be great. Oh, I know. I mean, the devs did not give a fuck in Diablo 1. They would just wreck your max HP pool without even telling you it was happening. Like on single player, you can save scum. On multiplayer, everybody says if you if your game spawns Black Death, you should just quit and create a new one. Ooh, goat seed. I was forgetting these fuckers can open doors. Hey, all right, level twenty six. Unidentified Great Helm, so stat points into Vitality. Strength is high enough. Strength is already high enough to equip anything we find, and um, we can continue boosting it through Elixirs. So, yes, the your level cap is 50. And unlike a lot of games, your character level actually factors into a lot of the formulas for how powerful you are. Like, it... So, take, take the warrior as an example, right? At 250 strength, a level 24 warrior is going to do a lot less damage than a level 50 warrior, even though their strength is the same. Because raising your character level actually adds a multiplier to the strength damage bonus every time you do it. Alright, so on single player we can afford risking the goat shrine, see if it's something good or not. Magic is not always what it seems to be. That's an enchanted shrine. That is one of the absolute best shrines you can find. That, uh, it lowers one spell by one level, but it raises all of your others. So unlike your attributes, that is well worth it. 
So it lowered Flame Wave from 2 to 1, but it raised all of my other spell levels, which is fucking awesome. Okay, I think the level is clear, except for Snot Spill and his little crew. Let's go deal with them. Come here, asshole. Take that. I gotta pawn some of this. Plate stuff. mail. Uh, no. If if you're if, if if you save and load into the same game, the enemies do not respawn. The game persists. I'm gonna forget this gold is down here. another full gold stack. First, let's identify everything we've got. Yes, Warellis, every room you clear is permanently cleared until you start a new game. That's even true on multiplayer. Hello, my you friend. You start new games more Stay often while on multiplayer. Listen. A fine mace, a crimson shield, a mace of maiming, and a grand helm. I'm pretty sure the grand helm is going to lose us armor class. Yeah, and it wouldn't be worth sacrificing the resistances on the Veil of Steel anyway. What ails you, my friend? Well, what can I do for you? There's some good stuff in there. Now, what's your new item? A Shield of the Ages, indestructible. That's basically one of the worst modifiers you can possibly roll. It's useless. <laughs> Let's go see what Wirt's new item is since we leveled up. Let's see if it's anything we want. Psst, over here. An amulet of the lion. Hit points plus 60. Nope, that is certainly not going to beat an Amulet of the Zodiac. Let's cook a steak. Well, I mean, in its way, that's comparable. Maybe equally enjoyable to a beer or three. A St. Patty's Day steak, I like it. All right. The work continues. I sense a soul in search of answers. Perfect. Back to it. Back to it. Plate mail. Armor 50 versus armor 47. Hell yeah. That's an upgrade. Every little bit helps. 
And we've made it to the catacomb. The smell of death surrounds me. <sighs> Down to level six. Well, no, we're gonna clear level five, but... Hey, buddy. <laughs> Martin, that's not... I, I, I like that you didn't even uh, tag it unpopular opinion. Shadow Drinker! Well, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> you didn't even tag it an unpopular opinion, because we all know that's that's barely an opinion. That's basically just a statement of fact. What's your cut, though? That's, that's an important question. What are we rocking? A filet, a ribeye, a sirloin? Scimitar, no. Thanks, but no thanks. We're good with our amber flail of speed. Simple flank. Hey, simple can be amazing, bro. <laughs> concrete example of how character level works. So when I leveled up, I did not raise my strength. But you'll notice my damage increased from 42 to 52 to 43 to 53, even though I didn't raise strength. That's because character level plays into the damage formula, whether you raise strength or something else. To the doorway. We're pretty okay at the moment, but we're going to start running into like, another level or two, and we're really going to have to start being careful again. Really good to just stay in the habit of being as careful as possible. You never want to let yourself start getting reckless. Where else I have played Pathfinder, I have played Savage Worlds, and I have played Dungeons and Dragons. So the answer to your question is yes. Well, to the most basic version of your question. I got a lot more specific, but. Yes, I have played tabletop RPGs. I rather enjoy them. As we all know, the quality of your dungeon master ma matters a lot. But I tend to find pretty good ones. of mana shield. There's a small shield there too. Alright. Make sure we don't forget either of those items. How do I want to do what? 
Lone Wonder. Um, any favorite settings? What I really like, thing? um, my favorite setting I've ever played a tabletop RPG in is, Hello, uh, my friend. the Deadland setting listen. in Savage Worlds. Well, what can I do for you? Oh, gotcha. My mistake. Thought you were actually asking me a question. <laughs> I sense a soul in search of answers. Alrighty. Quick town run that time. Good, right? The, uh... So we're gonna get the Empyrean Band, and I think it might be more useful than one of these things. We might actually use it, which is kind of neat. I don't remember exactly what its modifiers are. I know the main one is to raise your light radius, which is fucking dumb. But it's got some other good stuff on it, if I remember right. Let's, let's see exactly what it does when we get it, because I do not remember off the top of my head. Hockey season finish. Uh, hockey season's done. The Avalanche have 11 games left, but uh, with their last loss on Friday against Anaheim, they were. Oh, we got Valor too. Oh, Arcane's Valor. That's another 10,000 gold. We're not going to use it again. We're we're past that in terms of armor, but uh, there are 11 games left in the regular season. The Avalanche no longer have a reasonable chance of making the playoffs, so it doesn't really matter to me. The loss on Friday was kind of a nail in the coffin to their playoff chances. Uh, the Avs do not seem to actively be tanking. They're gonna... Un the, 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 the good news for next year's draft is that we own... That from the Matt Duchesne trade last year, we own the Ottawa Senators' first-round draft pick, and they're going to finish at the very bottom of the league. So there is a chance we're actually going to get the first overall pick, and that John Hughes is going to be or John Jack. I can't remember the kid's first name, but the number one prospect. Super exciting. This kid named Hughes. But like he's. Probably gonna wind up in an ad sweater some of this because stuff. we own Ottawa's draft pick, um, which is great. The ads themselves—they're gonna finish on that terrible bubble of mediocrity where they're like not even good enough to make the playoffs, but they were good enough that their draft pick is gonna suck. But thankfully, that's ameliorated by the fact that we own Ottawa's draft pick this year, and they are truly finishing in the cellar. What ails you, my friend? Do I have shit to identify? I don't think I do. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you?
Hughes is a, I know he's a forward. I think he's a, I think he's a center. Might be a left winger. I can't remember. They're, they're, they're two obscenely good prospects I this year. Soul in search we don't get answers. Hughes, we'll probably get the other one. The odds of Ottawa not getting what either of the top two picks are pretty low. It's, I mean, it's possible, but it's low. So we either get, we'll either get Hughes or we'll get uh, Capo Caco from Finland. Either of those guys are going to be amazing. The Avs own, um, the Avs already have a contract with Kale McCarr, who is a brilliant defenseman who is currently finishing his senior year playing college hockey and absolutely killing it. So... We have a lot of good things coming our way the next couple of years. That being said, this season is, is it, we aren't actually mathematically eliminated yet, but this season is over. We're... The Avs have dropped to last in the central division, and there's just not enough time left. I mean, technically, the Avs could win 11 in a row and make the playoffs, but they're not going to fucking do that. They don't have the consistency. And so, lock we already know this. We did Valor in our first run. We don't need to listen to everything. This season is... In mediocre. That's a great word for it. It's not awful. It's not like 2016-17 when we finished with 48 points, but we're not going to make playoffs. It's definitely a disappointment after last season. But as you can see, I am actually, like, fucking up a little bit. I need to be more careful because we're... The enemies have gotten strong enough again, even on level 5, that they can do some real damage to me. Time to focus up. We need to be careful again. That's both the blessing and the curse of Diablo 1. Like, unless you're a sorcerer with... Unless you're a level 50 sorcerer with a level 15 mana shield and a level 15 firewall, like, you always need to be careful. There is never a point in this game where you can just sit back and face roll all of the strongest monsters. Here, fucker. good news is our experience gain is, like, on pace again. Beer number two down the hatch. That's how we do, yo. And there's Arcane Valor. Yay! time I've had to use the potion since we started the nightmare run. We know that's going to change. May the spirit of Arcane protect me. Alright, so Arcane's Valor is the same. It's the, uh, the 10 point the 10 point boost to vitality and the fastest hit recovery is not worth losing 25% armor not percent. It's not worth losing 25 armor class, I assure you. Even though it's basic and unenchanted, our plate mail is better. <laughs> ah, yes, the free pass to town. Let's open it. We don't need to actually talk to everybody. We'll do that later. 
Ah, the magic rock. This must be what Griswold wanted. An enchanted shrine! Oh, if only we were a sorcerer. And our magic mattered a little more. <laughs> or, or, if I had found a, uh, a teleport tome. But nevertheless, enchanted shrines are amazing. People farm for these in multiplayer. Magic is not always what it seems to be. What did it subtract from that time? Okay, so that one, we lost a level of stone curse. And everything else went up. Which is actually pretty great. The only spell the warrior ever really gets a lot of mileage out of, I, I, I guess there are two. He... When you're dealing with the serious shit like advocates and witches on hell hell, um, stone curse is really helpful, and uh, so is teleport. So I'm glad, uh, well, I'm actually kind of miffed that I lost a level of stone curse, but those other games are all pretty freaking solid, so I'm not going to complain too much. I think with that, we've cleared the level. Let's head down to level six. Oh, how did I miss that? I'm not even drunk. I had two beers. Sleep deprivation, maybe. Or a simple, basic lack of focus. One or the other. St. fucking Patty's Day. Come on. 420 for alcohol. Oh, good God. What fresh hell is this? <laughs> Tiffany just got to her sister's house. You guys have me all to yourselves for several hours. I need another beer. It is St. Patrick's Day. I do have my usual champagne. If I decide to get truly shit-faced, I'll drink that after the beer. But I feel like on St. Patty's, you need to be drinking beer. This is fucking basics, right? 101 level, as it were. And here we are on level six. I said it in the last level when those horned demons actually hurt me. Mythical book. Oh, the chamber of bone. We're gonna get that again. Beyond the hall of. It's all right. We did we did that quest on a normal run, so. <laughs> Firebolt. Ah, uh, two. Well, with Firebolt already at level 10, we're going to need some reading glasses to boost it to level 11. Oh shit, there are the stairs to level 7, but we want to clear level 6. We're getting, we're getting good experience here on Nightmare. No reason to 
bail on that. And we've got the Acid Beasts, which means we're going to have to deal with Death Spit. But at 67 resist magic, we should be alright. Oh, what the fuck? Come on, mouse. This fuckery will not stand. What the hell? There we go. Alright. Back to normal. An elixir of dexterity. Oh, too bad. Dexterity is the first stat I maxed. Alright, though. Here, motherfucker. Here we go. More of you, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, come get some. Come get some. Oh shit. When they do hit, they hit hard. Alright, let's use that potion of healing. Go ahead and identify Arcane's Valor so we can sell it for full price when we do make another town run, which is imminent because I'm out of inventory space. There we go. Horror Captains! Alright, that's nice and easy. I can handle that, no problem. Let me drop a dagger. Phasing. Scroll of Infravision. Nothing I ever have any real reason to use ever. Alright. To this hallway first. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Do not get surrounded. We're. We're deep enough now, even on Nightmare, that uh, we do not want to get surrounded. Fighting in a corner is pretty good as long as you can kill stuff fast enough. And indeed, as you can see, that worked out pretty well for us here. You just, you cannot let yourself get surrounded when you're playing a warrior. Or anyone, really. <laughs> no, no, not just a warrior. Getting surrounded in Diablo 1 is always a recipe for death. <laughs> no matter which class you're playing. I got a pause on this stuff. Alright, time for a town run. First, let's kill more of these fuckers. not hit level 27 yet, so the items from the vendors are going to be the same. Slightly annoying, but it's alright. I'd rather have a potion of full healing in this what slot. What ails you, my friend? Buy that. What ails you, my friend? Do I have anything Hello, to identify? My no. Stay I don't. a while and listen. There was no reason to spend that money. Fuck, I should have remembered I had one on the ground. Hi! Aye, it is as I believed. Give me a moment. Ah, here you are. I arranged pieces of the stone within a silver ring that my father left me. Ah, oh, I hope it serves you well. All right, so that's the Empyrean Band we get for finishing off the, uh, the Magic Rock quest. Have to identify Hello, it. my friend. Stay a while and listen. What does it do? Plus two to all attributes, fast hit recovery, 20% light radius, and absorbs half of trap damage. The one that might outweigh is the 16 to hit, but it doesn't. 
because watch, if I, uh, but light radius is useless. Uh, half of trap damage is useless. Fast hit recovery is uh, okay, since I gave up Arcane's Valor, but I don't really care. Two to all attributes, well, that really depends. Let's see what it does to our to hit. Yeah, it drops to 94. No. Whoa, what can I do for you? All right, so. Those are gone. Yeah, I want to use my, um, use at least some of my reading glasses to get that Firebolt book read. One ring's enough. Perfect. Oof. This is Adria now. I sense a soul in search of answers. Based on viewership results, I should turn into a Diablo streamer. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, get fuck dead. Let's pick up that mace. Oh shit! But we had most of them. I was wrong. Thinking like the AI means they'll all come, but they don't. All right, nightmare acid beasts are down. Finally, almost. some of this stuff. A book of Lightning. I can read that, which is nice. I do love these honey, on honey orange triples. Martin, Belgian beers are amazing. If you really wanted to be my forever friend, you could ship me some actual Belgian beers sometime. I mean, Belgian Reserve from New Belgium is pretty amazing, but goddamn. I would love to try the real deal. Based on how good this is. Chest. 
Grim Bergen makes some pretty good stuff. I've not heard of them. I mean, I gotta be honest, New, Bel New Belgium, based right here in Fort Collins, Colorado, makes great stuff, but... There's more out there than you can ever possibly try. Does that make you sad, or does it make you happy? Give you option paralysis? Or do you just stand in awe of the level of choice you possess? It's hard to decide sometimes. Come on, fucker. Stalker's all dead. On we go. More stalkers. Fucking goat men. Shit, shit, getting surrounded. Not good, not good, not good. Heard the jewelry sound. Came out of that okay. Alright. Also, who the fuck is opening the doors? Can hidden open doors? I did not know that. Alright, a jewel dropped. I heard it. Now I have to find it. There it is. A ring. Yes. Oh, fuck you, boys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, it's fucking death spit. Now we're in trouble. We've got 67 resist magic. It's hard to do better than that. But death spit's in play. That means we're in trouble. Despit puts you in serious trouble because him and his minions, uh, ordinarily, their AI causes them to, uh, like it's a mix of uh, melee and spitting, but Deathspit and his minions in particular, they're programmed to run away like archers do and just spit at you. That will absolutely fucking shred you. I mean, you see how much fucking damage they're doing, even though I'm so close to maxed out magic for this. I gotta pawn some of this stuff.
let him out of the corner. Shit. All right. Time for a town run. We're out of inventory space. Here we go. Before I forget, let's pick up the... Holy fuck, I've crested 40 viewers. I need to stream Diablo, apparently. This is unbelievable. <laughs> what ails you, my friend? Shit, no, I don't want regular potions. Fail. Try again. What ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and a listen. Red Ring of Skill. Nine to Dexterity. Max out resist fire. Now let me see. 109. 98. Yeah, no, I want the extra to hit. Well, what can I do for you? Um... Repair everything. It off. I've got my portal scroll, so the rest really is just sailed. I sense a soul in search of answers. Perfect. Back down we go. We still haven't killed Deathspit, but we took care of most of his pack. Which is not easy to do on Nightmare. Wait till we get to Hell Deathspit. Better have our resist max by then. Uh, if you were watching the normal playthrough, you know that I found the Constricting Ring. I did sell it off, because uh, it seemed obsolete with the Veil of Steel and a pool of 67% resist in the absence of the Hell Strain. Typically, I like to go for the minions first, because they do high damage, but they go down easier. What the hell? Move, dude. I feel like that can go better. I really do. Now it's just actual death spit. See if we can get him in a corner. That chest is fucking with me in this room. It's hard to corner an asshole. Got it. 
get wrecked, bitch. Yes. A book of town portal. Really? Really? Uh, whatever. <laughs> you make me sad. All right. Whatever. It's all good. Horrors! Oh, horror captain. These are horse. Not really, they're easy. Identify. I have nothing to identify. How sad. Another one. I mean, I'll cart them along, so I have two free identifications, but... Swiftness. I mean, too bad I don't use two handers. That would be pretty sweet. Not really. I've already got speed, which is even better than swiftness. Pushing my all time viewer ceiling from streaming Diablo. This is unbelievable. I see 46 right now. My record before today was 30. And I see 46 right now. Unbelievable. Thanks for being here, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Let's fuck up some demons and drink alcohol while we do. Sound good? Alright, there's the stairway to the Chamber of Bone. I'll do on the backswing. Chamber of Bone, it, I mentioned this in the normal episode. We're playing on Nightmare right now, but it doesn't really matter because even so, the Chamber of Bone is actually typically easier than level 6 at large. The enemy composition is not that tough. But we're doing okay on level 6, so we should at least finish this little section. Building in there. Good game and a good time of day for both US and Europe. I I I think that's probably right. I don't often get to do this, but this is pretty incredible. Elixir of Magic. Well, it's too bad Magic's already maxed, but that'll be good dollars at least. So my regulars know, I mean, my average stream is like seven or eight viewers who hang out for a few hours. This is unreal. Well, to make partner, no, no Martin, we're, we are a long way off of that. 
making Twitch partner requires you to have an average of 75 viewers. But I'm just, I'm really happy that people are enjoying some of the awful vlogs. Game is great, and I thought it was fantastic news when it released on GOG. Yes, Martin, average. To make partner, you have to have an average of 75 viewers. I've always, I mean, I've always thought it would be great if we grew to that point, and I still think it's a possibility. I think we do keep steadily accruing new followers and new viewers, but and new subscribers. But yeah, we are a very long way from an averaging 75. But, it's a process, right? Have to path it out, you can't get there overnight. Gotta put in the time, gotta attract the audience, so. I hope the many new people who I very clearly have watching me play Diablo, like what they see. Amulet, ring, saber. Let's do the amulet. A topaz amulet. Ooh. Resist all plus 12. Uh, the amulet of the zodiac is better. But that's pretty good. 51! Jesus! <laughs> Oh, wow. This is a red-letter day, Twitch. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. Go check out the other side room before we actually tackle the Chamber of Bone. The chamber itself is extremely easy to deal with. Especially since I'm using a blunt weapon. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. And we need a town run, of course. Monica, Hello, my friend. suddenly having all these new people here, listen. I feel like I'm kind of being put on the spot. <laughs> In a very good way. Well, okay, clearly a gold ring with a 24% chance to hit is better than a silver ring with a 16% chance. We found a gear upgrade. It's been a while. Hooray. All right, let's load up on what full heals you, again. My friend? I'm not really nervous. I assume people are here because they oh, want to see some Diablo. The good news is I know Diablo forward and backward. Cousin JW is free legal advice, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can get in so much ethical trouble for doing anything that stupid. <laughs> it's not a bad, uh... I sense a soul in search of answers. It's not a bad thought, but I can get in very serious ethical trouble for offering free legal advice, especially if I get over a platform like Twitch. <laughs> I could lose my life. I sense a soul <laughs> in search of answers. Oh, man. I am sticking with plan. Although now I feel like I really shouldn't get as drunk as I usually do. There's at least that. Alrighty. We're set. Back to work.
side rooms are clear. Go deal with the actual chamber. I have seen the Legal Eagle YouTube videos. I like those a lot, actually. Hey, everybody. elixir of all, and one we can still actually make good use of. Like that a lot. I don't have a spell ready. Bam! Vitality to 45. Love it. Come on, the rest of you. in Guardian. Not that we'll ever use it. Kill a few more monsters. Too much baggage. Hope they drop something good. The answer's no. That's alright. Alright. Go figure. I'm what getting ails you, my friend? in front of all these new people. It's fucking St. Patrick's Day. Come on. What do you take me for? I'm gonna get shit-faced and kick the shit out of Diablo. Hello, what I did. my friend. <laughs> Stay a while and listen. Acts of Brilliance. 11 to magic. Does that stack up to a staff of sorcery? That's the question. Well, what can I do for you? Might be better reading glasses. Need to check. Too much baggage. Hold on. Whoa, what can I do for you? Seventeen, eleven. All right, now we're gonna keep that. Whoa, what can I do for you? Basically set. Can sell that scroll to Adrian, pick up another portal scroll, and we're done. Do I consider myself an Irish American? No. Um, the ancestral homeland is actually Scotland. It's where the castle is and everything. Not that there are any of us still there. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yeah, my grandmother did the genealogy. The uh, the Whitsit name is Scottish, and we had a castle there at one point. Which I'm totally on board with. I just wish I just wish that the Scots had a real holiday dedicated to alcoholism like the Irish have with St. Paddy's. Well, goddamn, Sam. 44 viewers. I will be right back. I need 30 seconds.
back. Match day, tell me more. We're back. We've got brew number four. Thank you for not bailing on me. Sometimes, especially if you're drinking beer on St. Patrick's Day, you just, you got to take a leak, you know? Thing that happens to 50 viewers, my God. Here we go. Back to work. Thank you for your patience. It's time. That's right. We're finishing out the Chamber of Bone. Come here, fucker. Every weekend during soccer season. Ah, I see what you mean. <laughs> I mean, for me, okay. So, it's basically like karaoke Friday for me. I really mean like an annual holiday that is truly dedicated to the excesses of alcoholism the way St. Patty's is. Arcane knowledge gained! Guardians at level 5! Oh my god! I'm, I, I never use that spell. Chamber of Bones about the loot. Got some good shit. Even got a gold ring. Got our to hit up to 117. It's doing us good. Done, I think everything's done. Yeah, we cleared all that shit out. It's time to go to level seven. Level seven on the nightmare run. Can we handle it? I think we can. We already beat death bits. Shit doesn't get real real until we cat it. Okay. <laughs> He says as he gets surrounded by entities. Day on the third Saturday in May, recognized by the Scottish government. All right. I don't have a Scottish accent at all. We're so many generations removed from any semblance of actual, actual Scottish. <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Back up, back up, back up. Regroup. Reload, recalibrate. We got some fucking strong melee goat men going at us here. Did I pick up everything? I think so. Alright. Tiff, how are Rachel and Jackson and Steven and Ash and Gus? 
and you. Oh lord. For all you new people, and there, there are many, we're, we're getting close to literally double my old peak viewership, which is amazing. Um, Chipper Fichi's my wife, Tiffany. She's down in Denver right now visiting her sister, but apparently tuning in on her phone. And Nightmare Fire Clans are fucking strong. We have to be careful. If they get that hit, it hits hard. Long staff. Alright. Whew. Can we go in here yet? Book of Mana Shield! Well, we still got Nightmare Acid Beast. But we can learn the Mana Shield spell! Nothing that matters, the warrior does not have mana for days the way the sorcerer does. Alright, though. If you're playing a sorcerer, finding your Book of Mana Shield is it's kind of like finding your King's Sword of Haste when you're a warrior. It's a lot easier to do, but it's still the moment where the game becomes easy. Don't care for infravision. Rags on level seven. They must have too very... much baggage. Too much baggage. Give me more stone curse. Town portal. I know we're about to need it anyway. Oh, a yet another acid beast. Eat shit, you little fuck. Oh yeah, new viewers, I swear to. I hope that doesn't offend you. I hope you're not children who are offended by swearing. Or ultra-Christians who are offended by swearing. You're not going to do well here if you are. Book of Firewall. Can I get another level of Firewall? Not without reading glasses, but with reading glasses, I think I can and will. I'll pick up the rags when I come back. Yeah, there's not a way to jury rig that. Can you play Diablo as a lawyer class? And what is the key item to make them powerful? <laughs> uh, that's the secret about lawyers, Martin. We can't ever actually do anything useful. All we do is make... All, all we do is know the rules <laughs> for whatever it is that actually useful people are trying to do. What ails you, my friend? Wait a minute. What ails you, my friend? I want another potion. Oh, I do not have enough gold. My bad. My bad. I'll come back, Pevin. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Stay a while and listen. <laughs> I have nothing to identify. All right. That's fine. Well, what can I do for you? Sell all that shit. Let me buy my other full heal. What ails you, my friend? Oof. I, I believe sorcery is still better than brilliance in terms of reading glasses. It is. Not enough gold to even repair all my stuff in my single stack, but that's okay. Let's go visit the witch and change that with a single sale. I 
I sense a soul in search of answers. Got a portal scroll, and now I should be able to repair all my gear and get back to work in level 7. <laughs> I mean, really, they just, they should not have kept a cap on Whoa, your gold what stack. Can I do for you? Yep, nothing new yet. We have to level up first. I knew that. I don't know why I even bothered checking. We're reasonably close to hitting level 27, though, with the pace we're on. We only have a little over half a million experience, level 27. It's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, in, in Diablo 3, if memory serves, and memory might not serve, someone should correct me, but I don't, I, I don't think gold even goes in your inventory in Diablo 3. I don't think it even goes in your inventory in Diablo 2. I think, I think they realized how dumb the gold cap was as early as Diablo 2. People would still stash gold in Diablo 2 because when you got killed, you would lose gold, but if it was in your stash when you died, you would keep the gold. So people still stashed gold, but I think they got rid of the stack limit as early as Diablo 2. Which, BT dub, was a good move. It's still capped in D2. Alright, good to know. Thank you for the clarification. Is there a reason you guys aren't like bum rushing me like you're supposed to? Let's say Gargoyle! Fire Clan! Ooh, there's a boss down there somewhere. I see that light, that, that light square. I think it's a gargoyle boss. It is. Interesting. Can I wreck him? One hopes the answer is yes, but one does not know. So we have to stay careful their asses around corners and shit. Nightwing the cold! Fuck you, buddy! I'm not your buddy, friend. I'm not your friend, guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. actual drop. It was a weapon. Yeah, the Staff of Flash. Yay, okay. Yeah, that's gonna do me a fuckload of good. Whatever. There's Goat Shrine, which means we're gonna have some Fire Clan to deal with. They've proven themselves to be inordinately strong. <laughs> Chinese gold farmers. Stop previewing Diablo Immortal. No spoilers. Don't you guys have phones? Oh, my own wife gave me a hundred bits! A little silly because we share a bank account, so I know that it's like, kind of like paying myself, but thanks, Tim. <laughs> I 
are Rachel or Steven or Jackson watching? That would make me very happy. Scroll of Apocalypse. Yeah, we can't use that. Fire Clan, what's the goat shrine? Is it good? Salvation comes at the cost of wisdom. I think that's a bad one. Yeah, that's a bad one. That raises Holy Bolt by two and takes off 10% mana, so we are not going to hit that goat shrine. Baggage. Gotta be ready on them heels on the higher difficulties. Damage happens fast! Back to town. Too much baggage, like you said. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I, we have blown through our old viewer ceiling. Playing Diablo what today, ails you, my friend? Amazing. It's so good to have you all here. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Hello, my I friend. I usually say this at the end Stay of the stream, but I'll say it while I have you all here. Um, if you enjoy it, obviously, as ever, please follow. But uh, what I'd really like for you to do is join the Discord. The link to do that is in the Twitch channel description. Um, the Discord Whoa, is a really great for place for you to give me feedback, where you can tell me what you like about what I do, what you don't like about what I do, so I can become a better and more entertaining streamer, which obviously is something that greatly interests me. It would be like a serious coup on my entire life plan if I managed to get good enough at this to stop being a lawyer. So I'm very interested in becoming better at it. So the new people are I, I haven't really seen a lot of new folks I in chat, and that's soul fine. In search of the, uh, I'd love to know what I'm doing well and what I can do better. So please, uh, I sense a soul in search of answers. Give that sort of feedback. Tell me what you'd like to see. Besides Diablo, I mean, I think it's really just Diablo that's bringing the viewers because everyone loves this game, and they should. It's amazing. Ooh.
back to work. Steven, 100 biddies. Thank you, my friend. I really, really, really appreciate that. I am... Uh, I, I, I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate the fact that you are spending your vacation with me here on Twitch. I hope you're enjoying yourself, my friend. Thank you for the cheers. I appreciate it. Fuck you, gargoyle. A book of inferno. Yes. A spiritual shrine. I can't remember if that's a good one or not. <clears throat> oh. It is. Spiritual is uh, riches abound when least, ex least expected. So let's empty our inventory. Get that gold. It's not very much, but as I am so fond of saying, particularly in the context of a game like this, every little bit helps. Cousins! <laughs> oh my god, someone just bought a shot. And the fucking avalanche scored a goal. As if it matters. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll take the shot in just a second after I collect myself. And seriously, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Everything looks good, but someone just bought a shot. That creates obligations on my part. Obligations which I am very, very happy to fulfill. Alright. Gotta get the gin. BRB. Gin is my spirit of choice, and it's the closest. I don't have any. I don't have any Irish whiskey, so. All right. Well, it's St. Patty's Day. Some of my ancestors are Irish, even though the Windsor Castle is in Scotland. We're uh, our DNA indicates we're a mix of all three of the UK clans, so our blood is at war with itself. But. Here's a toast. First, thank you, cousins. And the toast itself is, here's to you, and here's to me. The best of friends we'll ever be. But should we ever disagree, to hell with you, and here's to me. Mmm. Oh, there we go. Woof! Onward. Hmm. All right, door here. Let's go. Short bow. Scroll of healing. More gargoyles.
<laughs> oh, we'll get to hell, cousin. Those of you who grew up with the very early internet, I'm talking like GeoCities, Angel Fire, logging in through America Online internet. I wonder if it's archived somewhere. Because back in those days, one of my very favorite websites ever was the Too Much Diablo webpage. Lone Wonder tells me I missed a mana potion by a door. Which door? This one? <gasps> yes. Thank you, Lone Wonder. The Too Much Diablo webpage. Have, have any of you seen that thing? Remember it? Remember GeoCities? Remember Angel Fire? <laughs> For that matter. <laughs> I am super duper aging myself here and I don't even care. Uh... I'm 33. I'll be 34 in August. Yeah, I'm old. Fuck you. I know. <laughs> Acid Beast! Well, we already beat Death and Death, so I'm not actually that worried about basic Acid Beast. Staff of Town Portal. I'm not gonna use that either. It's alright though. Leather armor! Too much baggage. Okay. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Back to town. Are resources this tight in nightmare mode? What do you mean? Um, uh, no, resources aren't that tight. It's not like I super duper need the mana potion. It's more that I fucking hate what ails you, missing my friend? anything. I am an er completionist when I play video games. That's all. Hello, now that single friend. mana potion doesn't Stay make much while, difference at all, listen. but. The, uh, it's more the spirit of the thing. The idea of missing items Whoa, is what can I do for you? horrifying to me. <laughs> it slows down my speed. But, you yeah, know, I really fucking want to get everything. That's how I roll. Fendren, hello! I'm playing on single player and I'm using the Bank of Tristram. I am at the, at this point in the game, I am playing on Nightmare, so I'm on my second run. I sense a soul in search of answers. Staff of Town Portal, Scroll of Teleport, Scroll of Healing, Potion of Mana, Potion of Mana, there we go. Give me a portal scroll, please, dear darling witch. Yeah, basically, you save your cash until you get to hell and you can buy elixirs. Slash, you save your cash because you really fucking want to be able to buy that King Sword of Haste when Griswold and or Wirt finally carry it. Someone dropped a jewel. There it is. Ring. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Give me that jewelry. <laughs> this time, the dungeon, the ring is not going to be in the Obsidian Ring of Zodiac, which sucks. But it might be an upgrade relative to what I'm currently using. Oh 
shit and elixir of vitality? That's fucking great. Boom! 46. Yeah! Moss health, please and thank you. Cheer one. Oh, you don't have any biddies. Take a break, watch an ad. Then you can cheer one. <laughs> nice work, Steven. Thanks for the bit. Appreciate it. As I'm so fond of saying. And I'll even I'll extend it to out of game since I've been cheered a bit. In or out of game, it is a true statement that every little bit counts. <laughs> Why the face palm? What did I fuck up? Tell me. A large chest. I almost missed it, but I did not. Alright, hold on. Let's do a real inventory on this room. Nope, we're good. Chris, I am sitting at more viewers. Just like sitting at more viewers. Than my previous peak. There's a hunger for Diablo 1. People love this game. They should. It's amazing. Blew my fucking mind as an 11 year old in 1996. Glad you all appreciate it too. First time I played Diablo was in a sleepover at Ricky Gamina's house. Ricky Gamina didn't invite me to his sleepover. That was my best friend, Ben Mooney. Who was friends with Ricky and said, Hey, come to Ricky's sleepover, it'll be fine. So then, Ricky's poor mother ended up with like 20 fifth graders in her basement. Her own son didn't know most of them. But Ricky showed me Diablo. He said, oh... You haven't played Diablo? This is the coolest game you have ever seen. Check it out. And so I did, and it was, in fact, the coolest game I had ever seen in 1996. So I didn't sleep that night. My 11-year-old self stayed up until 3.30, when everyone else could sleep in sleeping bags or on blankets on the floor. My 11-year-old self stayed up until, I want to say, like, 3.50 a.m. Having my first Diablo experience. I have been hooked ever since. These games are amazing. All right. Got a couple of blank doors over here. Let's go clear them. Talk about aging myself and being old. I was born in 85. I'm 33. I'll be 34 in August. I hate adulting and Diablo kicks ass. Hey! The stairs down to level 8. Happen to be in, like, the last corner of level 7 I choose to explore. Beat it to the succubus side cheeks. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure 12 year old me did in fact wake to the succubus at least one point. At at least one point. Be right back. Gotta piss and grab another beer. Nobody go anywhere. Diablo incoming.
All righty. Chores handled. Brew number five in hand. All is well. Back to work, as I'm so fond of saying. I, I think we're set. I think it's time to go to level eight. Oof. I'll hit level 27 soon. Get new items from Grizz and Wirt. Mud Runner. Fendren, um, I don't know if I said this before, but I'm certain that 13 year old me wanked in the succubus at least once, maybe more than once, but the, uh, Back then it was because they had pitties. I mean, talk about side cheeks all you want. There was... Oh lord, we're gonna die. There was full exposure of the breastuses. You could see the nips and everything. And... Younger me, and to an extent me these days, is still a breast man. So... Yeah, teenage me was all about the nips on them witches. Stone Curse, zero fucks. Not an item I care about in the least. One Mud Runner. <laughs> Die, bitch, night. Level up! Holy fuck! Raise vitality. Because we can buy elixirs of strength. Glimmering Shrine. What does that do? Identifies all unidentified items in inventory. I've got a few. Mysteries are revealed in the light of reason. It's a staff of brilliance, 15. I have since bothered to memorize what I have sitting in Tristram. And the one I have sitting in Tristram is 17. Ring of the Dark, minus 40 light radius. Oh no, I got a debuff ring. That sucks. Thanks, Diablo 1. Where debuff items were a thing. Diablo 2 doesn't have debuff items. Every item is good. It's only a question of how good. People, people who are viewing, many of you are new because I am sitting way above my previous peak, which is amazing. But you new people, just you're clearly interested in Diablo 1. If you're comfortable doing so, I'd like for you to chime into the chat 
and tell us all about your Diablo 1 experience, like the sleepover at Ricky Gamina's house that I just described. Like, when did you discover Diablo? As a franchise, which did in fact begin with this brilliant, nearly perfect game. Oh lord. Familiars. Yeah, Fendrin, you can actually turn Diablo into a quasi-stealth game. Because, like, you can hoard debuff items that decrease your light radius. And if you get your light radius to zero, the monsters can't see you. And so you can technically just walk through the whole labyrinth. Not a good way to get good gear. Oh, shit. We got another boss poison center. Yeah, no, some people actually collect, um, Fendren. Some people genuinely collect debuffs to light radius. Because if you can get your light radius to zero, you can stealth by, like, all the monsters in the game. Which is crazy, but true. Chaos Howler! Fuck you, Chaos Howler. Seriously, fuck you. Your minion pack is not easy to deal with, bruh. Daddy needs to portal out. Restock on full heals if we're gonna handle the rest of those fucking minions. Mm -hmm. 
Drop the 5k gold stack, my dude. We'll be fine. We got this shit on lock. Drop a fireball as a warrior? I mean, my fireball is level 9, so I probably could. <sighs> what ails you, my friend? Giving him full heals, Pepin. Daddy needs him. He needs him bad. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the follow, Inishalk. Hello, my friend. Shulk. Stay a while. Are you listen. an Elder Scrolls fan, or is that just a coincidence? Well, what can I do for you? Sell the Ring of the Dark. We're not trying to turn Diablo into a stealth game, even though it's a thing that's possible to do. Well, what can I do for you? Armor of a Lion. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not giving up anything that matters for that. Fendren, you've never played multiplayer Diablo in any of the three games. Wow. I mean, all three Diablo games are kind of defined by the multiplayer aspect. I sense a soul in search of answers. Give me a portal scroll, Adria. That's all I want. Oh, Fendren, I have... I, I, I have to admit, I came into the Elder Scrolls series on Morrowind, but I have played all of them, including Daggerfall, and, in fact, including Arena. Alright. Back to level 8. Fuck you. Hold on, hold on. I did not execute that well. Not even a little. Let's try again. Cause there's shit in that hallway I wanted to pick up. Let's find out. I mean, I hesitate to make a statement like that went well, but they're all dead and we're alive, so... Yeah, that's what you want when you deal with those fuckers, right? Just 
Christ. Oh, Lord. Come on. Alright. Fuck you. Deal with your shit. Your minion. I, um, I haven't played it that recently. I played Elder Scrolls Online in the beta and at launch and through the Morrowind expansion. I have not played the Elsewhere expansion, so I can't speak with any authority about that. But yes, I've played a hefty amount of Elder Scrolls Online, if you're wondering. Always play a Dunmer. Betray my allegiance to Morrowind, I don't care. Fucking corner. Let's try the door instead. Town run, because we are out of fucking potions. My dear darling 50 viewers. I seem a little baffled by what's happening right now. It's because my previous viewer peak what was ails you, my friend? exactly 30. Suddenly I'm sitting at 50. I kind of don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Keep playing Diablo, I guess. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Yeah, base ass ring mailing and this shit. <laughs> Fifty people with some fame. I sense a soul in search of answers. Give me a portal scroll, my dear Adria. All right, we're set. Back to work. Back to work in level eight, last level of the catacombs. Then we hit the nightmare cave. Shit happens there. <laughs> I mean, the drunker I get, the more I prove that statement, cousin. So... My 
whole shtick is playing games I know really, really well and then getting really, really drunk while I do it. Unless I'm playing a horror game blind. But those are more or less my two shticks, so to speak. And my regulars you know when I'm being real or not. I just you know, this is fucking Sitting at 17 over my previous peak. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. Runner, where that gold at? Oh, I saw it. There we go. Day seven gold plated toilet. <laughs> the wages of sin are war. Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. When the eternal conflict between the high heavens and the burning hells falls upon mortal soil, it is called the Sin War. Angels and demons walk amongst humanity, in disguise, fighting in secret, away from the prying eyes of mortals. Some daring, powerful mortals have even allied themselves with either side and helped to dictate the course of the Sin War. You hear that vague sound of female laughter? It's creepy! Diablo 1 is a... Like, to this day, the only thing I would even give these both of these words to... Diablo 1 is a horror RPG. newborn scream yeah I mean Seems like 
team of Diablo 1 could probably be fairly succinctly stated as overconfidence. Your hero slash heroine decides they can contain the demon and puts the soul stone in their forehead, which turns out to be a fucking catastrophic mistake, but it's what they do. Alright. Let's hit this unexplored door, shall we? Mud runners. Try and dodge the charge. That's the main thing is that. Ran past some gold. Lone Wonder always knows what he's talking about. I did! Holy shit! Like I said, Lone Wonder always knows what he's talking about. <laughs> That's why he's my moderator. He can separate the wheat from the chaff when it turns to gaming tips or anything else, really. After winning 2 nothing in a game that barely matters. I'm having a red letter twitch day. I am sitting, sitting, averaging at more viewers than my previous game. Lightning and rejuvenation. <laughs> Fuck you, bitter. Yeah, we're on nightmare. I don't give a shit. You fucking die. All y'all bitches. Alright, what's in this room? Let's find out. Poison spinner. Besides them, 
Seriously, Intinamara? Where do you live? Because I would like to say they're like 100% of the game. Son. Trouble inbound. Safe. We can safe scum this. Survive it that way. God, there's so many. <laughs> Elixir of Vitality. Yes, please, and thank you. Oh, I drank it. Didn't mean to, but did. And you know what? That's fine. Fucking mud runners can even exist. Fucking both. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. 
All right, let's go pawn some of this stuff. Get our shit together, as it were. Woof. Catch up on chat. some of this stuff. I've been failing. No. We are all What older. ails you, my friend? Give daddy them full heals. Come on, Pepin. Not enough gold! Well, fuck right off with that noise. Whoa! What can I do for you? Try again, Biatch! Giving what him full heal. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Glorious shield! 73% armor. Now, that, that modifier is a good one, but... 115, or 98 is a hell of a lot less than 115, so we're just Whoa, what can it. I do for you? Repair my business, son. Oh, fuck me. Not enough gold for the repairs. Well, please and thank you. Let's go sell to Adria and try again. People do forget Wirt. I need to gain another level before Wirt will have uh, another item that maybe is worth buying. I sense a soul in search of answers. Adria, darling, give me a scroll of town portal. Perfect. I am sitting at nearly 20 more viewers than I've had in my previous peak. There's a hunger for Diablo 1. I'm happy to fill it. Repair my gear, Grizz. Whoa, what can I do for you? It's hurting. I need to get more gold. And I will also say that to this day, Whoa, what can I do for you? The Tristram music. Best acoustic guitar solo ever. Fight me if you disagree. Back on down to level eight. Book of Flash. Learn that shit, son. Scroll of Town Portal. Cool. A whole lot. Mount Shield. Teleport. And a book of town portal. Need some ring classes. Holy fuck, I'm sitting at 53. Holy shit. Regulars? You know, we do not normally deal in these levels of double digit viewers. This is fucking nuts. In, like, the best possible way, huh?
clear, did I clear the top room? Inquiring minds need to know. Oh yeah, I did. It's that one. With the two fires. Clear the library. Not gonna fountain of tears. We should enter the room though. I have no interest in the Fountain of Tears, and apparently that's everything that's in here. Is that everything? Well, I'm pretty sure that's like, okay, we've cleared every room, everything is great. Down to level 9. Be right back, my 51 viewers. Need piss, need 6 the beer. Be right back.
pissed, we got beer six. Looks like everybody stuck around. Thank you so much. Love ya. True story. Thank you for being here. Alright, down to level nine. I believe... Yeah, we're set. We have finished out level eight. It's time to enter the cave. Fungal it's hot down here. Good. That didn't do anything. Fungal Tome means we get the Spectral Elixir, which means three extra vitality and strength. Our other two stats are already maxed. More mud runners. Oh lord, they coming. All right, hold on. We need to do better. Need to do better. Get fewer all at once. All right, that worked. Oh lord, they coming. Well, catch up, Steven! This is, in fact, my sixth beer. And it's a strong one at that. Come here, mud runners. Come on, come on, get fucked up. Yeah. Get wrecked. Join that party, bitch. They come and hold on, hold on. We'll grab that gold after the rest of your bed. Thank you very much. Jay Price, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. It's so wonderful to have you here. Yep, Nightmare Caves. All of a sudden, shit gets real again. Just like normal, funnily enough. Caves is where shit gets real. <laughs> oh lord, they coming. That is not useful right now. Take it off the belt. 
Let's cave it up. The lava Lord! How the fuck he faster? He not faster. I got the Amber Flail of Speed. Come on. Speed being the keyword there. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get that gold. Well, nope, nope, nope. Fuck up that last wobble board first. Jesus. We have to block a lot of attacks. It's alright. Fuck you, boys. Oh, oh, okay. Pull it on back. We're gonna camp in this corner. Now we do. How are they so fast? It's crazy. Like, you actually do get them going on their melee, and it's like, okay. Even with an amber flail of speed, we're gonna fucking outspeed you. Get stunlocked, son. No, you fucking get stunlocked. I've been selecting gear for a very specific purpose as I've gone through these two runs. Fuck off. Many much lava lord. God damn it. Fine, whatever. Come to this corner, fuckers. I got you. Yeah. Oh lord. Too much. Too much. Need less Lava Lord. Or luckier with the RNG, as the case may be. That gold. <laughs> Woo! All right, all right, all right. Lava Lords is dead. Needs heal. on chat. Oh lord, they coming. Oh lord. Oh lord, so much lava lord. We going to die. So much nightmare difficulty lava lord. We going to die. Come on, fuckers. Come on. Oh lord, they coming. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Woof. All right. More. Bring it, bitches. I fucking got you. Oh Lord, maybe no, I fucking don't got you. I so don't got you. Long war bow. Alright, 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 alright. Fuck off, Lava Lords. Here we go. Eat shit! Nightmare Caves, 46 viewers, 
level 27. Uh, I can't handle how many people are watching me right now. Uh, like, those of you who are new, you should probably know that before today, the ceiling of viewers I had on this channel was 30. I gotta pawn some of this Might have stuff. been 31, but it was either 30 or 31. That was my ceiling. And now, like, at points tonight, I've been flirting with doubling it, and I've been averaging higher than my ceiling. This is crazy. And amazing. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Related to Griswold. What do you mean, Stephen? What ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while. And I have listen. nothing to identify. That feels like horseshit. I want that book of town. Greetings. It's oh. always a pleasure Quest. to see one of my best Anvil customers. Anvil of Fury. I know that you've been venturing deeper into the labyrinth, and there's a story I was told that you may find worth the time to listen to. One of the men who returned from the labyrinth told me about a mystic anvil that he came across during his escape. His description reminded me of legends I had heard in my youth about the burning Hellforge, where powerful weapons of magic are crafted. A legend had it that deep within the Hellforge rested the Anvil of Fury. This anvil contained within it the very essence of the demonic underworld. It is said that any weapon crafted upon the burning anvil is imbued with great power. If this anvil is indeed the Anvil of Fury, I may be able to make you a weapon capable of defeating even the darkest lord of hell. Find the anvil for me, and I'll get to work. Thanks, Chris. So we did not get the Anvil of Fury on our normal run. Which means we need to talk to all the townsfolk about the Anvil of Fury. Well, what can I do for you? First, let's sell all the bullshit items. Prepare everything I'm wearing and in do in fact like. And let's take the fungal tome to Adria, because we're going to get another spectral elixir. At this point, it's three to strength and three to vitality, but you know what? That's a fucking boost. Am I wrong? Hi, Adria. What do we have here? Interesting. It looks like a book of reagents. Keep your eyes open for a black mushroom. It should be fairly large and easy to identify. If you find it, bring it to me, won't you? Yes, Fendren. Uh, Griswold's Edge is the reward for the Anvil of Fury quest. You can't get in any other one. It's a big black mushroom that I need. Now run off and get it for me so that I can use it for a special concoction that I am working on. I sense a soul in search of answers. my reading glasses and get another level in town portal. It's only an eight. On a warrior! Wait, what am I carrying? Just a book. 
Identify two town portals gold. Okay, all I need is to hit up my reading glasses so I can read spell books. Those scrolls we will keep. They will save us money. Go back to the cave entrance. Need to gain another level before we look at Wirt and Griswold. Each of which will have one single new item. Based on the mechanics of this game. Great axe. Um, Steven, I'm going to suggest you do, in fact, get another beer. Sounds like best idea ever. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can corner them better. Two-handed sword. Die. Did die. Hello, failure. Want to win these fights and get their shit. Hello, failure. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Must do better. In the parlance of the 2019 gaming generation, let's get good. Good boy. Give me less of them at a time, and I promise I can handle it. Oh lord. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright. God damn. Fucking game.
Fuck you. All right. There we go. That's what we're after. Attaboy, Steven. What are you drinking, my friend? Tell us about your beer. There are a lot more of us than usual. <laughs> Tell all of us about your beer, my friend. Happy fucking St. Patty. Oh lord, a mud runner boss! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, no, we're going to die if we try to just straight fight this. Let's go to a door and create a checkpoint. We got the new Mud Runner. Oh shit. Oh shit. Minions figured out how to get behind me. Death. Utter death. One nightmare doesn't fuck around, friend. Identify the two-handed sword. A sword of vim. Yeah, not using that. Sorry. dead. Ah! <sighs> 
Oh lord. Keep fucking dying. Close. Almost beat the pack. Did not happen that time. Damn it. Damn it! Fuck all y'all. My spells, you're right. Fuck, I can cast healing. Three of these fucks to kill. Well, died before we could finish the first animation, but that's alright. You f fucking asshole. Get that ring. And let's use our scroll. Let's get the fuck out. That he needs heals. Okay. Hello, gold. I disagree with warriors don't spell. Warriors need to learn to heavily what kill. You, my friend? Which means they need teleport. And... Healing is also a great spell for warriors. No, not a potion of healing. Full healing. There you go. It's still fucking Hello, amazing my friend. that I am literally... Stay a while and listen. Ring of power! I am sitting on more viewers than my peak before today. Happy St. Patty's, everybody. Well, what can I do for you? Get drunk and play Diablo 1. This is where Nightmare Difficulty comes in. Absolutely. You have a fanciful, easy romp through the dungeon, and then shit gets terrible. Alright, no need to visit Adria. Let's just go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I cast a spell I didn't need to fucking cast. There we go. 44 viewers. Good god, that's 14 more than my previous peak, and I am sitting on that. Diablo kicks ass. Welcome, everyone. Where's the item? There was definitely an item that triggered that. There always is. Hmm. Maybe not. Less than a million experience my next level. That's great. Lava Lord. Fuck you. Get over here, Squat Waffle, and fucking die. 
gold, and there was a weapon too. I heard it land. I heard that clank. Don't lie to me. Flail. There we go. Fuck off, lava lords. We're on level nine. Nightmare, who gives the fuck? We're on level nine. Now that's one big mushroom. like on a normal day for me and I don't know maybe this is like a break point and my channel's gonna change I certainly fucking hope so that would be amazing but like on a normal day for me when my viewers drop below 10 it's like okay we're down to regulars let's just chill elixir of strength 120! Save the game! Duh. <clears throat> this is fucking nuts. Thank you all for being here. I'm sure it's just because you love Diablo, but thank you. Thank you for watching my channel. <clears throat> Drink the left full heal. Keep on golden the fuck up. A cape? Really? A cape in the caves? <laughs> Brian, thank you so much for the follow, my man. I so very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Your smartphone will not have to deal with the irritating notifications every time I go live. Irreg oh, fuck me. Which is irregular in stupid ways, but thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Fuck off, lava lord. That's 
sort of sucked ass, but whatever. Two town portals and unidentified items and quest items. We're good. Let's roll. I like to think that people who get involved with me, either by subscribing to the YouTube channel or something, or following the Twitch channel, I like to think that there are other people besides me who want to see everything in the games they play. Completionists, so to speak. And every time I get a new channel sub, or a new YouTube sub, or anyone paying attention to what I do. I feel vindicated in that, and that is a better feeling, even with the money. Gotta reload, or else we're gonna die. Gotta do a better job cutting off that checkpoint or else we're gonna fucking die. Into the portal, son! Woof. Go here. We have to get to hell before the, uh... Am I thirsty? Of fucking course I'm thirsty. Martin, what do you want to drink? I will have your drink with you. Just tell me what it is. What ails you, my friend? God damn. Drunk Travis is sitting at 40 years today. This is crazy. Truly. I'm used to sitting at 8 viewers at 3 a.m. on a Monday. Thank you all Hello, so much friend. for being here. Stay a while and listen. You have no idea, truly no idea, how much I appreciate it. But thank you. Oh no, not enough gold. Fail. Right, let's I can't cast that here. Oh, I guess. What can I do for you? Now identify that two-handed sword. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Martin, I am uh, trying my very fucking best to go to hell. I'll get there. Is that the Whoa, most original what can I do shit for you've you? got? Try again, bucko. Armor of the Lion. Yeah, no. Not happening. Not a fucking upgrade. So sorry. Take the Black Mushroom to the Witch. We do still want the Spectral Elixir. Yes, this will be perfect for a brew that I am creating. By the way, the healer is looking for the brain of some demon or another so he can treat those who have been afflicted by their poisonous venom. I believe that he intends to make an elixir. 
I sense a soul in search of answers. Do I need another portal scroll? That's the only question with Adria. Oh well, we have these fucking tube emails. Mm. Sitting on 50 viewers, that's fucking nuts. Fucking nuts. You 50. All you newbies, especially. Just understand that, um, literally in terms of motivation to stream, if nothing else, if y'all would follow or subscribe, it would be amazing. It tells me that you like what I do. But I figure you're here because you like what I do. So let's go back to the fucking cave. Try this shit again. Well, not again. We did okay. Once more unto the breach. Ever forward. Got a demon brain. Short bow. Yeah, that is not awesome. Not the kind of thing you alt tab out for to compare to your current gear before you sell it. The fuck is a short bow doing on level 9 nightmare? Come on. through the brain. Daddy wants a spectral elixir. Coming. Fuck you. All right. God
Stryka. down to level 10 without any further commentary. Oh, Martin, I am... Oh, Lord, I didn't even fucking want to do that. Try again. Martin, that's the kind of thing I was trying to accomplish, so thank you so much for that, my friend. Oh lord, they coming. That's the terrible thing about Nightmare, let alone Hell, it's like... again. God damn it. We can do this. We've got good enough levels to do this. Be right back. My mother is calling.
gotta talk to your mom when she calls, right? I mean, that's your mom. You were born inside of her, literally. Lava Lords. Could have cast the healing spell with my right foot. Should identify by potions, as it were. Oh, Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Gold ring, 30. That's a fucking increase. Their old gold ring was at 24. Oh, hell to the yeah. Let's take Pepin, the demon brain. Excellent. This is... Spectral elixir. What ails you, my friend? Give me them full heals, son. Right. Not enough mana. Hmm? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. No, let me look at my hit chance. One, two, three. 144? Yeah, we're doing that. I don't even care about the other attributes. Well, what can I do for you? Gonna use. Who watch or know I stream? Are you talking about my mother?
to Adria. Come on. What? Now you bring me that elixir from the healer? Oh, I... I sense a soul in search of answers. All right. Gotta take a leak, then we shall return to level 10. Be right back. Here we go. Fifty three viewers. Holy fuck. That is insane. Let's have some bubbles, my dear friends.
All right. We ready? Ready to roll? Got gold. Got scroll. Got gear. We're good. Off we go. Oh, hold on. Nope, I lied. I don't like to drink out of a bottle. Daddy needs a vessel. BRB. Finally! Dealt with mother. Got liquor. Level 10, let's go! Died. Hello, failure. Try again. Got to get them on a slower pace, because we can take them, just not all at once. Mm. Ain't that the story of this game? Fuck you, boys. Get over here.
There we go. Got him. Fuck him. All right. That's ramming Uncle Fucker, as the South Park song goes. Oh, shit. Hold on. More Lava Lord. Nope. Poison Spinner. Good. Can handle. Jewel Sound. Jewel Sound. An amulet. All right. All right. All right. Woof. I guess we'll leave the dagger where it is. That's not a bad spot for it to live. Alright. Off we go. We're gonna hit level 28 very soon. That's what we like. Oh lord, they coming. Toad demon! My dogs? Off we go. Daddy does need the mana, but like not in a way that matters at this point. So just keep her like use it for gold. Obsidian Lord! Oh no. Oh, we did. We did. Gotta aggro them in small groups. Like here, bucko. Night Clan is the strongest goat man. FYI. And here they are. Owning the caves as they do. Toad Demon. 
Fuck you. Go see archers for days. I believe it was Tater who said that first, but yeah, go see archers for fucking days. Terrible. Fuck you. Lava Lord. Oh Lord. Need that armor. Heard it drop. Gothic plate. 55 over 50. Yes, queen. Thank you. 5 AC. Thank you very much. Off we go. <laughs> Fuck you, Toad Demon. Yeah. Eat shit and die, bitch. Drink that ordinary ass potion. Coming. Be focused, Skippy. Don't die. 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 
Oh lord, boss. Oh lord, oh lord, they coming. They coming. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Need better strat. Oh lord, two demon. Eat shit. God damn it, really? Alright, alright, let's clear those fuckers first. Without actually unique. not die. Try again. Let's do it. Hello, failure. to get less than that entire pack. Didn't do it that time. Got all 
all these fuckers after me. Let's go up to the previous level. They are fucking wrecking me. <laughs> An actual checkpoint, right, Chow? Fuck, oh, but we got Ghost the Archer. Hello, shit. Got gold. Yay. I barely even know what to do with myself, like, I am very, very solidly averaging higher than my previous feeling of viewers. Okay, hi everybody. Glad you're watching, like, goddamn, what do I do now? <laughs> Fucking lava lord. Hello, failure. Two lava lords and at least one toad demon. Yay! A level up. Don't even. Are you fucking with me right now, game? A level up is so good. Sixty vitality. Level twenty-eight. God damn. Amazing. Oh, well, hold on. Don't fail. In game, please. Level 28. Oh, fucking right. An elixir of strength! Hail to the yeah! 124, bitches! Uh 
Oh shit. Fucking spitter. Fireball. Zero fucks given. Single cast offensive spell? No, thank you. Oh, hello. No. Woof. God damn. Level twenty eight. See what them new items even are. <laughs> Fuck you, Toad Demon. Potion of healing. Put the scroll of phasing in your non belt inventory. Phasing is fucking useless. One corner. Oh yeah. These guys. I almost fucking forgot. When I aggro as few as possible. work at fucking all. Alright, alright. Try something else. Get farther out. Maybe aggro less. Fuck you, Obsidian Lord. Oh Lord, they coming. Coming.
We gonna die. Need better reload. Still need better. Still need better. Or maybe we need to get, go out and actually fucking tell Hard to say. Oh lord. They coming. Maybe I can get to a door. He dropped a jewel! We gotta find that shit. Once we save Scum. And we gonna fucking save Scum. Cause I want that jewel. Not to mention the experience points. God damn it. Try again. Fuck you. All right. Find the jewel. Fucker dropped it. And the amulet. All right. All right, god damn. Let's open the portal. We, at the very least, need to re-up our fucking potion. Wasted! Yeah, boy! Me too. What's the best way to be on Twitch? Oh, Lord! Main 95, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. What ails you, my friend? Came. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Crimson amulet. Amulet of radiance. Useless compared to an amulet of the zodiac. Well, what can I do for you?
Well, what can I do for you? I sense a soul in search oh, of Oh, do you, souls. Adria? Give Daddy his portal scroll. I Come sense on. a soul in search of answers. In search of answers. No. Wrong. God damn it. There we go. Want the five K stack separated out? Thank you very much. Nightmare. We're in the nightmare cave. Let's not forget that. Might feel despondent because shit is hard again, but remember, we're in the nightmare caves. With a level 28 warrior. rough too we fucking handled him though Steven, get wasted on wine. Take Cortana's suggestions and get wasted on them. That's a great fucking feeling, my dude. Not even lying. Cortana makes pretty good wrecks. Uh, 
short battle bow. Fuck you, Night Clan. The Anvil of Fury is always guarded by a hefty. Amount I need to get this to Griswold. Sight. Off we go. Griswold's Edge is not going to replace our current weapon. It has no speed of The most important weapon in here is for me like character in Diablo 1. But, it's good. We'll get a lot of gold for it, at least. Dead. Focus up. Try again. Try again. Focus. Don't die. Oh, Lord. Fucking spitters are coming.
lot of stones first. <laughs> Off we go, caves again. Come on. Oh Lord, they coming. Hold 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 the fuck up. Come on, fuck. Let's get to this corner, assholes. Then let's see what the fuck you can do. Always hanging in your own room. Of course you are. Yep. Alright, we have got to bait them somehow. Don't get that wrecked. Bait? Mm. 
really. Come on, asshole. Yeah. Oh, Lord. They coming. Oh, Lord, they coming. Out. Wife is home. Can't pick up the composite bow. Alright. Gotta pawn some of this stuff? Well, let's fucking pawn some of this stuff. Crazy. Yeah, no kidding. We gotta, we gotta extend this day, cause holy fuck. Holy fuck. My old peak was 30. My new peak is 54, and I am sitting on 36. What ails you, my friend? How's rage? Good. Uh, pfft. I don't want to go to my parents, I want to keep streaming. Look at my view count, are you fucking kidding me? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Bow of puncturing. Everybody say hey to Tiff. She's home. to me. Sell the shit to Grizz. Oh, I can hardly believe it. This is the Anvil of Fury. Good work, my friend. No. I don't feel like I bothered talking to the other townsfolk about the Anvil of Fury. I feel like that was a mistake. Contrary to the promises I extend to everyone on this channel, we did Magic Rock, we did not do it. Greetings, Fury. good master. Welcome to the... T Don't you think that Griswold would be a better person to ask about this? He's quite handy, you know. Yeah, I Hello, not. my friend. Griswold speaks of the Anvil of Fury, a legendary artifact long searched for, but never found. Crafted from the metallic bones of the Razor Pit Demons, the Anvil of Fury was smelt around the skulls of the five most powerful magi of the Underworld. Carved with runes of power and chaos, any weapon or armor forged upon this anvil will be immersed into the realm of chaos, embedding it with magical properties. It is said that the unpredictable nature of chaos 
Makes it difficult to know what the outcome of this smithing will be. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. All right, back to Grizz. Tell him all the... Oh, I can hardly believe it! No, 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 we can't do. Can't talk to Grizz. Gotta get the quest dialogue from everyone else before we talk to Grizz. My bad. Can a fellow drink in peace? Trimble of Fury. Griswold can't sell his anvil. What will he do then? And I'd be angry too if someone took my anvil. Fair enough, Farnham. <clears throat> We'd all be drunk if someone took our anvil. What ails you, my friend? Give me healing. Come on. Now give me a full heal potion. There we go. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Lord, really? Why the hell is escape not working in the Diablo game? I want to save my game. Jillian, tell Good me day. what. How may I serve? Tell me your useless fucking thoughts on the Anvil of Fury, please. You twat waffle. Griswold's father used to tell some of us when we were growing up about a giant anvil that was used to make mighty weapons. He said that when a hammer was struck upon this anvil, the ground would shake with a great fury. Whenever the earth moves, I always remember that story. Griswold's father used to tell some of us when we were growing up about a giant anvil that was used to make mighty weapons. He said that when a hammer was struck upon this anvil, the ground would shake with a great fury. Whenever the earth moves, I always remember that story. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jillian. You still fail. No utility in that story. Getting some wine, Steven. All right, my man. I, that's what I like to hear. Over here. Anvil of Fury. If you were to find this artifact for Griswold, it could put a serious damper on my business here. Ah, uh, you'll never find it. All right, we got to talk to the witch, then we can finally actually give the anvil to Griswold, which will give him, give us the reward Griswold's Edge, which is not as good as an Amber Flail of Speed. Greetings, good master. Well, don't you think that Griswold would be a better person to ask about this? 
Yeah, Can't we think? did. We did ask Chris about it, you fuckhead. Did I ask Farnum about the anvil? I don't think I did. Can a fellow drinking Keepers Wild can't sell his anvil? What will he do for it? We did hear that. Just kidding. I sense a soul in search of answers. All right, here we go. Oh, I wait, sense we got to talk to Adrian about the answer. Of answer. There are many artifacts within the labyrinth that hold powers beyond the comprehension of mortals. Some of these hold fantastic power that can be used by either the light or the darkness. Securing the anvil from below could shift the course of the Sinwar towards the light. Onward. Oh yes, no auto map available in town. Cause they hate us. Back to Grizz. Griswold's Edge is not gonna be better than our Amber Fellow Flail of Speed, but we'll get the gold from it. And we'll be good. I can hardly believe it! This is the Anvil of Fury! Good work, my friend! Now, we'll show those bastards that there are no weapons in hell more deadly than those made by men! Take this, and may light protect you! I... Moments like this make me feel so sad, because Griswold ends up just being like a basic bitch zombie in Diablo 2. Hello, my friend! Stay a while and listen. Griswold's Edge. It's a great weapon. Fast attack. 25% chance to hit. Fire hit damage. Knocks target back. Lose hit points. Gain mana. Oh. For all my tough talk, I might actually end up using this. I forgot it had fast attack. Fuck, we're using this vault edge. We fucking are. Hell yeah. Well, what can I do for you?
Okay, there we go. Tater! Mother of God! Yes, Tater, we're playing on Nightmare. We're drunk at St. Patty's Day. Thank you so much for being here, my man. How are you? What should we drink? That's the real question. Yeah, I've got my level 28 warrior, the same one you watch the normal difficulty playthrough on. He's now on Nightmare, handling his business on level 10! Hello, Obsidian Lord. Die, Obsidian Lord. Please and thank you. Alright, yeah, we've already cleared out this corner of the map. Hold on, I fucking saw something. Where was it? Oh, oh. Scroll the fire. Oh, Lord, they coming. Many much bad guys after that scroll.
Come on. Lava Lords! And the Toad Demon to boot! Fuckers. Tower Shield. A weapon! A white short sword on level 10 nightmare? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, fuck you very much. Very much. Nothing over here, that's alright.
Come on now. Let's wreck some fucking shit. I forgot that Griswold did. He does. Bitches. All right, come on now. We dead. 
try again. Dead. Fucking dead. Fuck you. Come here, poison spitters. Oh lord, we died. We died. I can handle these things if I just quit failing and do better. They coming. Oh fuck, that's not even a healing scroll. What the hell do I have here? Infravision? No. I give zero fucks. That's zero helpful. Try again. God damn. Fuck you, poison spitter. Get your ass out here. In the real shit, buddy. Got the gold. Damn fucking poison spitters. Positive no. Oh lord, they coming. That's why the warrior is the hardest class to play. You can be verging on maximum max resist and the poison spitters will still fuck you up. Eat shit. Biatch.
Hello, long war bow. How the fuck did I almost miss that? Barrel. Moth barrel. Potion of healing, please do. We dying. Him, and we do, in fact, got upon some of this stuff. We're going to pick up Homie's Broad Axe, which I guarantee we won't be using because it's a two handed weapon, but that's fine.
Why are them dogs barking? Fucking backyard joggers. Back your asses up. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Many ago, I'm pretty drunk. That's a certain fact. Nothing to identify. All right, Grizz, what you got, buddy? Well, what can I do for you? Sell the lame ass shit. We are, in fact, using Griswold's Edge, which is kind of crazy. That's a great weapon fast attack and everything else you could want. Look at all that gold! Bank of Tristram! The fucking dirt! Sell those and buy a scroll of town portal and then go back down. Sells a soul in search of answers. And we need to get full heals from the healer, Pepin. My magic resist is fifty along with my other two, all from the Veil of Steel. We're playing single player. What ails you, my friend? for you.
All right, off we go. Into the caves. Let's do this shit. Broad axe. Onward. Do I even have this whole area cleared? I actually think I kind of might. I gotta make sure before I go to level 11 with this many viewers, though. Sitting on 48? Are you fucking kidding me? Before today, before St. Paddy's, this year, the most viewers I ever had was 30. Now I'm like sitting on 11. Uh, oh lord, they coming. Storm lord. Shit. Use a potion sooner.
motherfuckers. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're good. Death on toast. As we used to say in undergrad. Fuck off, Nightmare Hellstones. Scroll of Stone Curse. Not gonna do much for us, but that's alright. Crazy. Stunt locking motherfuckers. Damn it. Hello, failure. Nothing. Alright, next. Please don't unlock me. Alright, alright, alright. They dead, we got an unidentified cloak. I got 46 kills. I'm sitting on 40 plus, and my pre prior 
peak was 30. This is fucking baseball. Thank you, Gog, and thank you, Blizzard, for releasing Diablo on the digital platform. I know that many older gamer types like myself are extremely fucking happy about it. But seriously, thank you. This is unreal. Both my viewer count, thank you all for being here on Twitch, and the availability of the game itself. So unreal. Truly. Skullcap. Alright.
Rock. More sword lords. Yay. Bro, what's up? Huh? No, I'll go to dinner, mom and dad. Yeah, is it time? Okay, yeah, what? Okay, yeah, I will ride with you. I'm good. I'm kind of blown away by the simple fact of my view count, and it makes me really sad that it's about time to end the stream. Not even because I want to. I am obligated to go to my parents' house for a St. Patrick's Day dinner, but 47 sitting on 47 viewers. Holy shit. That's more than I can ever have in the history of Again. That was a waste of fucking potion. Yeah, we got stunlocked for the month, though. That's exactly fucking right, dude. Fuck both of you. Damn it. 
seems like there's no way to just sag one. <laughs> Fuck you! Stunlock for the goddamn win. My stunlock, not yours. Biatch. Oh lord, they coming. They coming. damn phone. I'm sure we can reload and do better. Let's just aggro that guy at first. I can't fucking believe I have 47 viewers right now. And apparently I have to go because it's fucking family dinner time. I can't believe that shit. My prior ceiling was 30, and now I'm bailing on, like, 150% of my prior viewer ceiling. It's fucking awful. I guess folks like Diablo 1. And folks should like Diablo 1, it's fucking amazing. Your health Get a I got a pawn some of this oh, stuff. Got a pawn. All right. Feels better, man. Gotta go back to town because we're out of fucking space. Look at all that gold. We're two levels away from hell. Uh -huh. What ails you, my friend? Oh, Pepin, so many things. Let's make this town run, then I'm gonna end the stream, which makes me very fucking sad, because I'm Literally 18 viewers Hello, over my, friend. my Stay previous a while and listen. ceiling. It's like the worst possible night for me to have shit to do and have to end the stream. <sighs> Say la vie. Well, what can I do for you? Go sell the scrolls to the witch. It doesn't feel that bad, Tater. We do fine. God, I just... I really fucking wish I could just stay home tonight and keep streaming. I have... <clears throat> I sense a soul in search of answers. 48 viewers? Are you kidding? Let's fill up our mana, just because it's nearly empty. Well, fuck me sideways. So life goes. You suddenly have 48 viewers, and you've got to fucking leave. I hate this. I really fucking do. But it is what it is. Where is the item I could not pick up? There it is. Composite staff. Alright. Oh, fuck you, Stormlord. Fuck you, Hellstone. Crown! 
An unidentified crown at that. My goodness. But all the same. As much as it pains me, I need to go now. Uh, 52 viewers! God, I'm I'm gaining viewers at the moment I have to leave? Are you fucking kidding me? stream I have literally ever had. So many viewers. People like Diablo 1, I guess. And I have to sleep. God damn it. New viewers, please, for the love, if you like what you're seeing, even a little bit, I desperately hope you'll follow the channel so I can see you all again. You know how the follow button works on Twitch. You get to see, and I phrase the, I use the word privilege loosely, but it does tell you every time we go live. So you can see it now and in the future, whatever happens. And if you're watching later on YouTube, I know my streaming hours are fairly unpredictable, but you ought to know that every ounce of content that I produce, I have to put a caveat on it because my wife did some Doki Doki streaming and does not want it on YouTube, which is of course her prerogative. But every ounce of content I produce makes its way on the YouTube channel. So I hope you'll join me there too, because in the event you miss some content, which, given the irregularity, is pretty standard, everything that I do eventually makes its way onto the YouTube channel, so, ah, uh, no choice now, I have to suck it up and quit, it's time to go to dinner at mom and dad's, maybe I'll be back later tonight, my 45 viewers way above and beyond my previous peak. Thank you so much for being here. Please, 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 if you like what you saw, follow the channel so you can see when we go live. I know people don't have dollars for subs. That's fine. Just follow. It's free, and you can see every time I do it. And if you're watching this later on on YouTube, please like the video, assuming you like the content, and subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss a goddamn thing. Finally, regardless of the platform you're on, regardless of whether you spend money to sub or cheer or not, I hope you will join our Discord, which is also free. It's either in the YouTube video description or the Twitch channel description. The Discord is where... We discuss the games you'd like to see me play, where I make official channel announcements, and where there's a cool and growing community of people who love video games just like you. I really, really, really fucking wish I didn't have shit to do tonight, but I do. Take care, have a wonderful rest of your St. Paddy's, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.